All right, Uncle Sam FM here. This is episode 21 of my American football series as we are starting to wind down FM 19. The new game, FM 20, will be coming out in probably a little over a month, I guess. At least November is what they're saying. So um, this will be my last game, <clears throat> uh, my last save, but I plan on playing it all the way through till, till FM 20 comes out. So who knows how far I could get. But right now, um, I have left Michigan State, and now I am officially um, with the USA Under-20 team, and we are about to start the uh, Under-20 World Cup for 2023. And uh, I feel like I've got a pretty good team. Got some really good attacking players, especially. Uh, this is Colin Kiffy. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but um, 16 finishing. <clears throat> um He's got good pace, good fitness, um, good physicals, so that's good. Um, also, I'm not even going to try with this guy's name. He's um, <clears throat> part, um, what is that? What national, I forget what nationality COD is. But he's, um, again, another pacey player, um, good agility, um, good dribbling, which is you know good for a winger to have. Uh, and then... <laughs> Dungala, Dungala, I guess. Um, again, you know, really fast, pacey. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty good team. And even some guys on the bench, like this guy, uh, Omiji is probably actually my best striker, but I have him starting on the bench because he's uh, not quite fully fit, and I'm going to have to rotate guys anyway. But he um, is a 17 pace. You know, his physicals are obviously phenomenal. <clears throat> dribbling is great finishing not as much not as high as you'd like for a striker um but off the ball is an 18 so he's he's obviously you know his technique was 17 he's a really good player so um my attack i feel like i'll be able to hopefully make some things happen up front um i don't feel as good about my guys in the back um we'll just look briefly before we get into this first match uh harry edge is a fullback <clears throat> And um, <laughs> I don't know why, but my computer's moving kind of slow right now. Um, but you know, as you can tell, he's you know he's my ideal right back. He's got good tackling, but most of the other attributes I'd like to have for my fullback is, are are a little subpar. So um, so I'm just gonna have to hope, I guess, that we um, can you know hold <laughs> shut teams out. A uh, real quick look at how I'm I'm set up here. Um, well, look at the groups. My group, I'm, I'm, I'm in a very difficult group, uh, as you can tell by the fixtures there. Start with France, Brazil, and then finish with South Africa. And <clears throat> yeah, France and, and Brazil are obviously going to be two of the better teams uh, in the tournament altogether. Um, so, you know, not excited about the draw. Right, but um, we did play Brazil back in March, as you can see. It ended in a 2-2 draw. <clears throat> they were probably the better side, but what kind of made that match difficult was there were like three or four youth games. Um, the USA under-23s were playing, the under-22s, and then the national team, and the, the senior national team. So I kind of got last pick. And all of those, you know, obviously all the guys that I wanted chose the other, you know, the older teams or the senior team. So, but for the World Cup, I got to call in whoever I wanted. And uh, the, the tournament has actually started, as you can tell by some of the results. In our group, Brazil did beat South Africa 2-0 to start. Um, so we got to try and keep pace. And we're going to try and do that against France here. France is... Um, Obviously, one of the best teams in the world, you know, defending world champions in, in real life, and they've <clears throat> they've got. A, I, I looked at their team a little bit. Um, yeah, they're not going to be an easy an easy win. Um, let's just tell them to give the fans something to cheer for. And I'm going to start with my just my straight up standard tactic. I'm not going to try to do anything cute. And we'll kind of see how things go. <clears throat> we'll switch to the uh, director camera view. Yeah, see there you see Dungala's pace, and he creates a corner kick. And 
we get a corner kick in, but I guess headed right to the keeper. So to tell what happened there. They have a free kick. Uh, let's get that out of here, guys. All right, I guess he was offside. And we get a free kick. Dooley heads it over. Dooley playing center back, of course. Well, not of course. You guys obviously don't know who Dooley is. Here's Ngala's pace. Ooh. And see, I, my guy's up front. I, I feel good about it. But the further back we get, the worse we get. I do have a pretty good goalkeeper, but... Yeah, that's just a great goal. An individual effort, but, you know, I'll take it. If drops it back to Heimdike. Pellet. Zendengala. On to Edge. Edge is not going to give me anything going forward. It's not like my Michigan State team, actually. <clears throat> I didn't have any... Well, my attacking fullbacks were not very good at Michigan State, and that's still kind of the case here. And now let's see if our back line can hold up. And we give up a corner there. all up to the Kiffy. Kiffy switches... Castellanos, back to Heinzeich, to Dooley, Dooley up to Ningala, cross is out for corner. Scott or Savas to Ningala, crosses it in, and we got a shot but couldn't finish it. Oh, man, it feels like there's been a lot of highlights for, for only 15 minutes. <laughs> This is going to be pretty intense, probably. Oh, they give up a, a foolish giveaway for a corner here. France playing a deep 4-2-3-1. And free kick from the sign, but I guess we're just going to... Oh, pick up a yellow. Oh, come on, Edge. <laughs> Edge just <laughs> trotted along and let the France guy go, the uh, France attacker take it. Ooh, Reese picks that out the air and starts the counter, sort of. Starts the build up, I guess would be more accurate. Castellanos, Desfas, Castellanos switches to Edge. He had a wolf. Wolf is our team terminology for whenever you have somebody coming from behind to try and take the ball from you and tackle the ball away. We call that a wolf on my team. Kiff with the shot goes over the bar. <clears throat> All right. Clock is rolling. Right now the clock's our enemy. When you have a 1-0 lead, the clock is your enemy. And France gets a corner. It's probably really just a matter of time for France. We need to... Ooh, clearance. Put that out into row Z. I need to back things off a little bit. Another corner. I'll go a little cautious. I don't know that that's gonna... Again, come on, guys. Dyke throws it in to Dooley. Dooley pumps it up, but gives it right back to France. And here we go, Nindala. He's very aggressive and very fast. And Nindala's header is wide. My sub situation. We are, um, France is the more fit team. At least they're the sharper team. Uh, 
close to day to edge and corner. <clears throat> Ball's headed out. Uh, you can probably tell from behind me that I am in a motel room. I uh, my job has brought me out of town, and I'm on a laptop that is not really ideal for running FM, as you can probably tell. <laughs> But I figured, hey, while I'm here, might as well, because this is some downtime where I don't really have anything else to do. Dollar gets another corner. Day. Day drops to Ndagala, who... I don't know if that was a shot or a cross, but the keeper gets it anyway. And we're at halftime. <clears throat> okay. So, 1 nil. Looks like right now we're doing everything right. France is the more complete team. We might have better attackers. But front to back, they are definitely better. So the fact we've got a 1-0 lead is encouraging. I'm just going to leave everything as is right now. Solano's out to Dungala. Oh, Kif. Put that away. Hmm. This for I mean a, a draw wouldn't be a terrible result. Um, the U twenty World Cup, you can you can finish third in your group and still move on to the second round. Obviously, we we <laughs> we want to get one of the top two spots and and move on no matter what. But you know, things go against us. We we still have a chance. Well, you know what? Let's go get all three points. Let's not blow this. Well, my guys are starting to wear down. Yeah, I'm going to probably bring in Jake Santos for Harry Edge here in a minute. And header goes wide. Keeper just watches it harmlessly go out. Like Dooley. And France had an injured player. They've already used two of their subs. That's probably good. Not offside? Oh, I guess he was offside. He looked offside. <laughs> I don't usually use the director camera angle. But for the purposes of this video, I did. 67th minute. I gotta start thinking about a sub here. Crosses in. Castellanos' shot is into the hands of the keeper. Uh oh, what's gonna happen here? Ooh, off the bar. That was too close for comfort. All right, I'm gonna bring in fullback. A little more energy in the back. And you know what? Let's bring in. Let's bring in a bit of a more of a defensive. Minded number six. Well, of course, Bengal is getting yellow, a yellow card. Why wouldn't he? He's the pretty much the only attacking player that's actually. Sh <laughs> well, I guess that's not fair to say, but he he did score a goal, so of course he's the guy that. It's the yellow card. Here he goes again, and oh, no, of course, the yellow card and then an injury. Why not? Let's see, well, he's not, he's not even taking a knock, but let's go ahead and take him out. I'll bring in Omidji, and maybe Omidji can get a counterattack goal. He's, come on. Suspect Heinz Ike. Oh, and I'm off the bar. Come on, this. 
This sub is taking forever. Okay, let's... You're still not super coming at me, but I'm going to drop back to my control. Really, it's... Control is not the best word for that. Oh! Ooh. Okay, they are definitely coming at me now. Let's go with the shut up shot. Usually I get scored on before I make my change that would win me the match. And Keith picks up a yellow, but I'm going to let it go. Alright, way to go. Reese picked that out the air. And along with it. Midgey. Well, Midgey's actually really good. I think he plays for Atlanta in Italy. And he he starts. I went and watched one of his one of his matches. And I, you know, I think he scored. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got all three points. Good. So that's big. That puts us in good shape. Um now we'll, we're even with Brazil, who also won, so um yeah. yeah. That mean I mean pretty much so if we get a draw against Brazil. Well, okay, let's let's go worst case. We lose Brazil and then we get a result against South Africa, we're probably through. We're probably through. If we could just get all three from South Africa, we'll move on. So that's a big win. It's a big result. Um wasn't the most beautiful result, but hey, you know what? They're not gonna, all gonna be. So our next match is in, against Brazil in a couple days. Uh, do a little rotating and hopefully, hey, why not shock the world again? So um, I'm going to sign off for now. I might come right back for, for the next match, but we'll, we'll see.